Hey, this is Aaron with Faith Walk Ministries with another Bible review. A lot of information to cover. This is going to be some changes in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible that we've been kind of waiting to hear for years. So let's going to go through all these changes. Of course, you see the box, you know that's Church Bible Publishers. This is pretty well the last printing that Church Bible Publishers can do with the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Some history of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible it has been in existence for many, many years. We're talking 100 years, and it has been just a great Bible. I've, I have used it for over 25 years. But this is the last printing from Church Bible Publishers. Some of the reasons in the last uh, 10 years, Kirk Bride's quality has been going down, down, down. We've been uh, communicating with them, trying to find out what's going on, really not receiving a lot back. Then it was uh, kind of, I think it was around December, surprised that Zondervan came out with the news that they are now going to be stewarding the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And so this coming June will be like the Leather Flex, Leather Soft, and the uh, Bonded Leather is going to be in the same exact text layout, just darker red. And then next year, they're going to revamp it to the Comfort Print. So they've been communicating with Bible groups all over Facebook, other reviewers, to find out what they like in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Really, the only thing I would like in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is better quality material, better paper, ink for the red letter, so much darker it needs to be. Also, I'd like to see a little bit larger font in the midsize. And so that's mine. Everything else would love to stay the same. You see, Thomas Nelson revamped the open Bible in the new comfort print. And when they did, the Bible, to me, has lost its personality. The print has become so much smaller. It just, it, it lost what the open Bible was. And we are praying that that is not what they do with the Thompson Chain reference when they reformat it, when they get the comfort print, but it just gets better. And that's the prayer and the hope that it just gets better. So let's dive into the church Bible publishers. Once again, this is the last printing because they have a license from Kirk Bride to have done this, a fifth improved edition. Now, the first and second editions of the Thompsons, probably close to the 100-year year mark for the copyright. So if they could get that, hey, there might be a market for that. So let's go into this. You can see, because you've been looking at it, the grain. This is the cowhide. It's not the top grain cowhide. They're actually looking for a new supplier for their cowhide. But if this is what they're going to go with, this is their idea and their new design, it would be nice. Has really good grain on this thing. Let me show you what the top grain cowhide was. And this is the turquoise. And if I hope they do more turquoises. It, the turquoise is my favorite text layout of Church Bible Publishers. There's the center column reference Bible, as it's known as well. We see the top grain. It was, it was really stiff. And it's very interesting because top grains are supposed to be just a little bit softer and you can see the top grain is stiff i mean you can roll it but it was stiff and this has been used a lot and it still has that that stiffness now it means it's rugged it does have like a matte finish this one has you, you just tell it looks so much better that cowhide looks so much better i'm gonna let you know and it is softer it is softer so we're gonna do some more comparison a little bit later but let's take a look. Of course, the Church Bible Publishers, I love perimeter stitching. It's perimeter stitched all around, front and back. Love that. It does have your Bible hubs or ribs. One, two, three, four, five. It does have Holy Bible, Authorized King James, CBP. Very nicely done. Inside does have the synthetic leather. To say cowhide. Corners are done really well. Does have edge line. I say this every time. If you don't know what that is, it means this part's going under here. This is glued and pressed there, so it removes the stress point from the, the crease out, so it's gonna create more longevity. It's the same way as the back and the front edge lined. Now, every Bible they have is unique. So you might have something here, something there. There's a little imperfection here in the synthetic leather, but every Bible is unique. So every Bible will have something, whether 
not, it's gonna be just maybe something here and there. You might have scarring. This one, believe it or not, you could see there there was a scarring. A pretty long one. This 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 cow got in some uh pretty deep uh barbed wire or something. But that just makes the the Bible uniquely yours. That's what they say on their card as well. The Bible is gold gilted, and they do really good. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. It's not art gilted, it's gold gilted. Does have black and gold head and tail bands. Has two ribbons. I always tuck them in when I use other ribbons. They come out about to here, so they're really nice. And of course, it is Smythe Sewn. A lot of people here talk about Smythe Sewn. Here's the card, get that information. Also go to churchbiblepublishers.com. Either website will work. There you go. And a lot of people, once again, ask, what does Smythe Sown mean? Well, if you notice the Bible, as I'm opening it up, you see these lines? Like a set of lines, line lines, and there's a list of papers. What those are, are signatures. So instead of just gluing the text block into the binding, they actually first sew it. So they take so many signatures a page, so many signatures a page, and they sew it all together. And that does a couple things. It makes it lie flatter when you first get it. Also, it just creates longevity for the Bible. Pages are not gonna be ripping out. You can see the, uh, the signatures, groups of pages, right there. The Bible, once again, has the same format as the fifth improved edition of the Thompson Chain Reference. Because a couple different things though, you do have the card stock and I love that. You're using for notes. They did add the presentation page. So you got that, family record, husband, wife, children, marriages, more marriages, grandchildren, and these have blue decoration. Till you get to the death, and they're black. But they added that, it's kind of nice. Once again, it's the fifth improved edition. With the model number. Doesn't have the crinkle page yet. All Thompsons get the crinkle page. Pages are, I would say, Low 30s, 32, 33, 34 GSM. It does have some see-through or ghosting. It's not gonna be that those high opaque papers that you're gonna get from like Schuyler, Cambridge, R.L. Allen, but you're paying for that too. But this is nice. It's a little thicker than, like I said, the normal paper that Kirkbride would use. And I'm going to show you that it has created the Bibles a little bit thicker, too. I'm going to show you that when I start doing a more comparison. So let's go to the red letter. I have other videos on YouTube about how to use the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And also, I uh, got some information from, especially talking about the cowhide, from Randy Brown from Bible Buying Guide. If you haven't checked out his website, his YouTube videos, definitely do. I'm going to leave his links in the video description. He's like the mentor for all Bible reviewers. He is so nice. I'll let you know. There's times I'll come across a question I just can't find the answer to. I'll message him, and he has always, always been helpful with the information, and I just uh, praise God for him. And But look at this red letter. That has been the complaint. So when Church Bible Publishers printed this, they darkened the red letter. Now, here's where I'm gonna say there, there is something about the Thompson that I think is, is just maybe a Thompson thing. And here's why I'm saying. So there's always been a real faint, the Kirkbride red letter has always been more pink and sometimes so pink you almost can't read it and faint so this 
as dark and it's so much better. In fact, I'm gonna let you know, I think the, the dark, the black letter is darker too. It, to me, it looked like it was a bigger font until I reached out to Church Bible Publishers and they said, nope, it's the same exact font, but it looks so much darker. But notice here, look at the difference. Red there, red there. It is considerably lighter. Not as light as the Kirk Brides was. Kirk Bride was so light, you, you could not read those words hardly at all sometimes. But if you look from this page to this page, look at the difference in the red letter. And that was the same way for all the Thompson Chain references I've ever got. I, I've always noticed that there was a big part right here in Luke chapter 22. Very next page, though. Darker again. So if you're expecting the, the uh, Church Bible Publishers to be a uh, consistent red letter all the way, it's more consistent, and it is more dark red, but there's still going to be some lighting of the red letter here and there. So you are going to notice it, so don't be disappointed. You were told. But it is just... Fantastic. One thing I like about it, the Thompson. Now, a lot of people know what's so special about the Thompson. Well, besides the chain references, let me show you this. This is where Revelation stops, right there. That's it. All this is your study helps. The index to all the reference chains has tons of information. Tons of information. You have archaeological supplement. You have analysis of the books. The Thompson Chain reference is very famous for following the idea that the best commentary for scriptures are scriptures itself. My rule is all doctrine comes from scriptures only taken in context compared with other passages of scriptures. About the same thing. But this is just jam-packed. Illustration charts, summaries, jammed packed with information. If you could only get one Bible and one Bible only for all your study, sermon preparation, teaching preparation, the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is it. Christian workers, outfit, I mean, just tons and tons of information. Bible marking, once again, your archaeological supplements. Just tons of information. Great concordance. I've always loved the concordance of the Thompson Chain Reference. Now we get to the back. Usually this is real hard, glossy cardstock. Well, CBP did something different on those. You got a really good index to the maps. And then you get some, some good maps. I don't use my maps a lot in the Bible. But there's some good ones here. Got just a few card stock in the back. All right. So once again, I'm not gonna really go into much on how the Thompson Chain Reference work. I'll put a link of my other video that I've done a few years back on how to use it. But that, that's just nice. So let's take a look at some comparisons. Now, once again, let's compare it to a, a, a Kirk Bride Thompson. Let's do that first. This is my Kirk Bride Thompson. Now, it has been rebound. I wore the genuine leather cover off that thing and had to get it rebound because it was falling to pieces. And a guy close to our town did it. It's not an edge line, but he did a good job. I didn't pay a lot for this. I think I paid like 65 and he did that for me. And I've used this one, oh, since he's done it, another five years. So let's take a look. Now I'm gonna show you what I mean by that pink. That's Luke 22. I have another Bible um, that's even lighter than this. I 
like I said, I have another Bible so much lighter than this you, that this almost looks darker than the other one. Okay, so there's CBP's red. It's red on the Kirkbride. It's so much darker. So that, that's, that's a nice thing. I'm gonna, let me show you the thickness. So the Kirkbride is on the bottom. The CBP's on the top. It, it's a good quarter inch thicker. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be because the weight of the paper they used was better. But just that, just that nice. That's a, that, that Church Bible Publishers is such a classic Bible look. I mean, that is just beautiful. So I think they really did good on that. Uh, once again, uh, compare it to the top grain cowhide. No comparison, really. Top grain cowhide. I'm glad uh, Church Bible Publishers is reaching out for somebody who is doing this better. I don't think the, the leather they have, the top grain, was that great. I really don't. It was good rugged, and that's why I loved it. You don't have to worry about being scratched, things like this. But I love their new cowhide ideas so much better. And then here is Church Bible Publishers Iron Catskin. Now, I think they're the masters of Iron Catskin. They do an awesome job. And this is the uh, turquoise. For those of you who, are who still like the turquoise or are interested in it, that is a great Bible. It's 1011 point font. The red ink is awesome. There's really no inconsistency in the red ink in this one. Just an amazing Bible. But what I wanted to show you is, I mean, this is very soft, it's ultra soft. But if you want something more durable, not gonna imprint, not gonna scratch, the cowhide is nice. And it's still very soft as well. I enjoy this one. Once again, look at the other things on the Thompson train and how to use it. I just wanted to bring you kind of what it looks like for the new cowhide leather and whether their supplier they get follows the same idea or not, I'm not sure. Go to churchbiblepublishers.com. Right now, the only cowhide that's available is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And they're seeing how that goes to see how demand is for the cowhide. To me, cowhide is amazing. Now, my favorite, of course, is goat skin. Um, that would be my all-time favorite from the durability, the softness of the leather. I just love goat skin. But my second is cowhide, top grain cowhide, because of the softness, but of the durability of it. And you're really not going to go wrong with that. So there is the Church Bible Publishers Thompson Chain Reference Bible, mid-size. And uh, hey, see what else I got coming out. Thank you for watching. God bless.